Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Jacob back again with another episode of GTA Online Modding. And today we're going to be sitting down talking about some stuff about impulse and mob menus in GTA Online in general and whether they're safe or not. Um, in the background, I just have a video that I made a few days ago of first trying the TikTok trend of jumping people in alien suits. It was a lot of fun. So if you want to check that out, it is actually my channel trailer. So you can go check that out right now. It's a pretty entertaining video. And uh, today we're going to be talking about about pretty much menus and what's safe about them what's not safe about them and how to keep yourself safe um, during these times so if this video does help you out or you know you get informed in some way shape or form it'd be very much appreciated if you guys did drop a like and subscribe i do a lot of gta online modding on the channel i've been doing a lot of alien gang war stuff as well so who knows i might come up with something pretty cool or if you guys have a suggestion of what i should do down below in the comments you guys can suggest it because sometimes i will use those suggestions and make some pretty awesome videos so yeah let's get right into it so first of all i would like to you know talk about the elephant in the room i've been getting tons and tons and tons of comments questions dms on discord about hey uh why is my recovery disabled for impulse or i don't know if any other menus are doing it like impulse but recovery currently right now is disabled on impulse and here is why recently i think this bandwave quote unquote band waves aren't really a real thing they are kind of like band waves because let's say rockstar um you know updates their anti-cheat and they can easily detect um you know recoveries better so if they update it that means they're gonna you know um see them better and be able to ban more people so quote unquote band wave so band waves aren't a real thing so right now, if you uh, go on impulse right now, everything will pretty much be enabled except for recoveries. Recoveries right now are pretty risky doing a lot, especially at a time. I've only added like 200, 250 mil probably in total. So I'm safe. I'm pretty much chilling. I am not banned. Uh, fortunately, I am not banned. If I were to get banned though, I'd probably just get myself another account. Or if you guys don't really care or want to be extra, extra careful, you guys can make yourself an alt account, buy an alt account, or use a friend's account or something if they don't use it anymore. Uh, just to stay safe and, you know, not risk any further riskiness in GT Online and get yourself banned or suspended. Even if you don't use a menu like Impulse or Impulse at all, I would highly suggest just staying away from recoveries in general as of right now until your menu devs or, you know, Impulse devs um, update the menu once again and enable recoveries again. Because as of right now, you no one has apparently gotten banned. They're doing testing right now other, other than people using just the recoveries. I've also been asked a lot of questions about people giving money to their friends or dropping it for themselves. I don't know why it's any different than just giving yourself money at all, but those are probably very unsafe as well. Like I always say, you know, if 100 million pops in your account within an hour, um, that Rockstar anti-cheat that they just updated is probably going to figure that out pretty quick. And that doesn't even go for modding. It might actually work a little bit better for glitches as well. But uh, hey, what do I know? Um, I, I don't glitch. <laughs> I don't glitch for my money. I just mod it <laughs> uh, very little bits at a time. So I'm safe. Um, but don't give any of your friends money right now. I know Impulse's recovery is disabled. But do not, with any other menu, give any sort of money to your friends. Because you will probably get them banned and maybe yourself banned as well. So those were just a couple of the questions that I have been getting, whether it was through Discord comments and stuff like that. So I'm going to be going over just a little bit of the features that I do use in Impulse still and how I haven't really gotten banned. Um, first of all, I, I use a lot of weapon mods. I use infinite ammo, which really could, I don't know how it would be detected, but I use infinite ammo. I also use rapid fire, which is kind of like um, you shoot a lot more bullets at once. It works for like every weapon. It's pretty weird how it works but I, th I really like it, it just drops uh, the enemies pretty quickly. Um, as you see in this gameplay right now, I'm using invincibility as well as some bodyguards. Like I use a lot and a lot of stuff and um, I'm pretty much safe from it because as long as it's not money, I don't think Rockstar really cares. Like you can go and grief anyone's cargo you want, ruin everyone's game experience. Not that I suggest you do that. Um, I've been trying to get better, you know, I don't I do not do as much grief and I do a lot of trolling now um, than I, that I used to do so I pretty much have been staying a lot more low key with what I've been doing now um, through recoveries at least I haven't been doing a lot of money or anything like that 
um, because I know that's a great way to get yourself suspended and or banned. That's why it's disabled right now because their anti-cheat has been probably updated most likely and is now probably going to ban you or suspend you if you add a ton of money right now with any menu. I did make a video in the past. It was a about a month or two ago about all the options I use with impulse VIP um, you guys can go take a look at that I'll put it in the description if I remember um, but if not uh, I will definitely I might make an updated version of that because I do use a little bit more stuff now I use a lot more protections than I used to in the past not that it's really made a huge difference but um, instead of getting kicked and stuff you know I've been staying like in lobbies a little bit longer and uh, I've been doing a lot less like griefing and trolling so not as many people want to um, you know grief or troll me and kick me out of lobbies freeze me cage me or whatnot uh, so protections is another thing that I use that's pretty much completely safe but there's one big thing about using protections at least with impulse I know with Zeus I never really had a huge problem but I had a little bit of a problem when I well, it's injured now. But Zeus in the back of the day, back in the day, I used to use injure Zeus, whatever you want to call it, and I used to be able to join jobs and heists and do a lot of like mission stuff with really no problem. But now, with impulse whether or not i have protections on or off i have a lot of trouble joining missions and heists and i know you guys ask a ton about that and i'm sorry i i can't get i literally cannot start a heist either i'll watch the cutscene, and i won't even be in the cutscene when lester wants to talk to what's her face for like the diamond casino heist let's just say i can't do finales with impulse vip in um i've i've struggled with that since day one since i've got it i don't know what that is um, I don't know if that's for extra safety or whether impulse devs have an answer for that. I really have no idea, but that's another thing that I wish worked a little bit better, but protections is something I use 99.9% .9 of the time. Unless I'm doing missions, you see me do uh, modern missions with people, help people out. Uh, usually when I do those missions, I turn off uh, protections so I can join the games better. And even then, um, I still have a really, really bad experience uh, doing it most of the time. Um, I usually start complaining and ranting in those videos a little bit, getting frustrated. But um, yeah, I mean, protections is one of those safe things that you can definitely use, as well as customizing, modding, spawning vehicles. Now, um, unless you have, you can spawn UFOs or something, I don't really know. Something like there is an alien gang war going on so maybe you do want to spawn some ufos i have no idea if that's safe or not i doubt it i doubt it's uh, not safe you can probably spawn any vehicle or anything you want i spawn invincible fully tuned vehicles i fly around with sport mode uh you guys have seen model life i do a lot of that uh crazy stuff to make it interesting and i've pretty much been safe with all of that and uh i do like i said use a lot of weapon mods some other things I use as well is sometimes I will change my model. Haven't really changed my model in a minute because I've been a green alien for the past like uh, almost week now. So I haven't really been changing my model much. So don't quote me on that. I doubt that changing your model will do anything. Uh, the only thing I would say stay away from is becoming the single player characters, Michael, Trevor, Franklin, because usually that just kicks you out of the lobby or crashes your game instantly. Um, I don't know how that works. Well, they're supposed to be in single player. I know that for sure. But uh, it can sometimes get buggy once you uh, try and be in a GTA Online session with Michael, Trevor, Franklin. That can usually be kind of buggy as well. But uh, all in all, Impulse, definitely a great menu and still safe to use as well as probably some other menus out there. I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't say anything about any other menu. Except for Indra. Indra is probably safe as well because I have used that on the account that I use every single day. Um, but I haven't been banned with that either. Not that I have really done any recovery options with Indra, because back in when I used it, when it was still Zeus, there was really no recovery options. So, I mean, that and Impulse are the only two menus I've used on this account, paid menu-wise. And I have been safe. Like, Impulse, all in all, is a pretty safe menu for right now. Um, the recoveries are going to be disabled. I don't know how much longer they will be disabled. They're still testing that. But I will definitely make, it like, an Impulse updated video and let you guys know when it is safe or when it is um when recovery is enabled again and hopefully make a video on that and hopefully you guys can you know stay safe and not get banned or suspended so overall most um options in impulse vip 
are safe to use other than recovery i will say again recovery is disabled is because rockstar's anti-cheat has been updated most likely that's why it's called a quote-unquote ban wave ban waves aren't a real thing they don't go and pick people out one by one and ban them it's just their anti-cheat going to work they updated it and have made it a little bit better um so yeah that's why some people have been getting a ban don't add billions and billions of dollars not that you can right now with impulse but like once um impulse's recovery system is enabled again don't add billions and billions of dollars you don't need it add 100 mil and you, you'll be surprised how, how long that money will stay in your bank account unless you're a big spender um i do spending speech from time to time but i've had 100 million dollars more or for a long time i've had it for a very long time and you know i've had it for like a few months and i still have like 40 40 50 mil left so um, just don't use any recoveries, even once they do re-enable them, um, have someone else test the waters. Don't use them yet. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, hey. Sorry for your loss. Look at what I bought. Paint like Bob Ross.